I believe all of us, amen, are expecting. All of us are here to worship Him, to give Him glory, to honor Him, and we will not fail, I believe. Because God has in store for us His Word and His blessing every time we assemble. Amen. amen. The Bible said that uh, where two or three are gathered in His name, He is in our midst. Amen. So we can believe and we can trust that He will answer your needs today. He sees your need, He knows you before the foundation of the world. And right at this very moment, God knows your need. So we just uh, pray, uh, pray for those needs and uh, also we, uh, we, we also greet those who are watching online. Amen. And uh, I hope that everything, all things are good to them that love the Lord. So uh, this morning we will be approaching another very significant topic because I believe we are in the Joshua Commission. Yes. Moses. Our Moses is dead. Amen. God took Brother Branham right. home. But the Joshua ministry will continue to bring his people into the promised land. Amen. He will place the body of Christ just like Joshua placed the 12 tribes properly in their location. The Holy Spirit will place you positionally also in the body of Christ. Amen. So uh, we will be reading from uh, Joshua chapter 1. I believe this is the uh, commission of the Lord to move to uh, Joshua from Moses. Amen. Let's read and uh, listen to what the Lord has said to his servant Joshua. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister. Saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all these people. So this was the commission of the Lord. Amen. To arise and go over Jordan and possess the land. Unto the land which I will give them, even to the children of Israel. Amen. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon. Hallelujah. 
Ten Commandments. Yes. Amen. They shall not depart out of thy mouth. Magmawawala sa buong bibig. Lagi yung pag-usapan, mag-share kayo. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Pagbulay-bulayan mo, i-appreciate mo. Amen. And thou, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then, Be strong. Pangalawang beses in ulit. Three is a is a perfection. Be strong and be in good courage. Be not afraid. Wag ka matatakot. Amen. Neither be thou dismayed. Wag ka madismaya sa pagliligod mo sa Panginoon. Pagpuloy ka. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Because we are now on the third Exodus. Yes. We know that the first Exodus was Moses, the prophet being sent to the children of Israel under bondage in Egypt. At the time they were given miracles and signs, flags fell, and you know the, 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 the water turned into blood. All those things because God was taking out of people into a promised land. And in our time, God is taking a bride from denominations. Amen. And as God is taking a bride from the denominations, calling out His elect from the Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, Protestant, Amen, we're marching toward the promised land. And the promised land is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You need to have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the token, in order to go in the rapture. Without the Holy Spirit, Amen, you are none of His. Without the oil of the Holy Spirit, you cannot be a, a wise virgin. Amen. So, let's look at what happened in, in just a, a short, detailed presentation. Ano nangyari, mga kapatid? After the children of Israel were, were freed from the Egyptian bondage and delivered from Pharaoh's army, they crossed the Red 
Sea and began their journey towards Mount Sinai. Amen. Pangalawa, in the wilderness, God provided food, water, amen, protection, even if the people murmured and complained. Right. See, God provided the manna from heaven. He, yes. They don't need to cook their food. Oh. Right. God provided the water from the rock, oh. amen. No need for, you know, Nawasa or uh, Manila, you know, to supply. God spoke it through Moses. Right. Everything was provided. But yes. the people continually murmured against Moses. See, people were not satisfied, contented. They want more, more. See? And number three, when they arrived at Sinai, they received the law, the Ten Commandments. Amen. No, dinalala ng Panginoon ang kanyang bayan, dun sa mundo, ay binigay din niya ang sampung kautusan. That would govern them as a nation. So we know, govern government, amen, for Israel was written in the book of Deuteronomy. The Deuteronomy means two laws, life and death. Gusto mong mabuhay, gawin mo ito. Gusto mong mamatay, ito. Suwayin mo ito. Amen? And as a nation, they were given the pattern also for the tabernacle, regulating their worship, which is also the book of Leviticus. Nandudun yung mga worship, how to prepare the altar, the incense, and so on and so forth. Amen? And after being numbered, so binila sila, there were 12 tribes, they were divided and organized, then they began marching to enter into the promised land. So we will look at this journey because I believe we are also in a journey. Amen. We are pilgrims and strangers, right? right? We're Christians. We don't belong here. We're just passing through. Yes. We are citizens of heaven. Yes. And all these things that we have right now are just temporary. Yes. Given. Yes. Your job, your education, your house, whatever you have yes. is just temporarily given for your before we move on to the higher amen dimension our mansion from heaven which Jesus had prepared for every one of us so how many years did they journey 40 years 40 huh? but look at look at the, the distance from the promised land or rather yes Jerusalem from where they came from where Ramses Goshen is there it says that it's only 40 miles Rama. 40 miles, if they travel 3.6 miles per day, it will only take them 11 days. Nandun na sila, 11 days. Bakit naging 40 years? What's the mystery behind? See, it was because of their sin and rebellion. Amen. Naantala yung kanilang pagbiyahe dahil sa kanilang mga pagsalangsan at kasalanan. Sin and rebellion. Because God was trying to ano, filter the people. Oh. Amen. Inaalis niya yung mga unbeliever, yung mga complainer, yung mga correct, mga kora, datan, abiram, inatagal niya along the way. See? Oh. God took 40 years instead of 11 days to see that the original rebels did not enter the promised land. Yeah. Nagliligligan. Parang na yun, mga kapatid. Oh. Mga disbelief na sa'yo na yan, na kung ano-ano ang nakikita ng mga kakulaan sa propeta. See, we're journey also. Amen. And these things will happen as we go on. Ito sa aming prophet. Sa aming sahing, uh, ano ba aming sahing ito? Okay, Hebrews 1957. Sabi niya dito, they were on their way to the promised land of rest. It flowed with milk. The grapes were so big that two men packed one box over their shoulders. Ang malaki ng grapes para mga santol, mga kapatid. Oh, what a land of blessed rest. But they failed to get it when they got there because of their what? Unbelief. Kawala ng pananampalataya. They stopped believing the law, the message, the prophet. They were turned aside at only 40 miles from where they left in Egypt. And they were 40 years getting there because of 
their unbelief. See? God gave them their prophet. My prophet kasi na. Ano ba? God gave him the sign. Give him the pillar of fire. Showed signs and wonders and preached the gospel to them. And they walked out after fishes and loaves and fell in the wilderness and their carcasses perished in the wilderness. Nang namatay sila sa ilan. Sabi nga ni Jesus, di ba? Sabi ng mga Pharisees, uh, we have our fathers, we have Abraham, we have Moses. And Jesus said, they perished in the wilderness because of Adam. Now, we can see that here. God said in Numbers 14, verses 20 to 23, Because all those men which have seen my glory, this is God speaking through Moses, and my miracles, which I did in Egypt and the wilderness, and have tempted me. Now, this is that time, some of the Pagdating sa sampung beses, wala na. Bumigay na si Lord. Magalit na. And have not heard it to my voice. Surely they shall not see the land. Which I swear unto their fathers, neither shall any of them that provoke me see it. So let's not provoke the Lord, mga kapatid. Okay. Huwag mong galitin na inisin ang Diyos. Baka mamaya, eh, hindi ka rin makasama sa rapture. No? It's a sign. It's a type and shadow for us. Sinabi ni Pablo yan. Let's look at the New Testament where Paul mentioned about it. In Hebrews 3, 7 to 13, ano sabi ni Paul? Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, the Holy Ghost is speaking today. But not the Spirit to Santo na ngayon. Anong papaalala sa atin? Today, you will hear His voice, His message. Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, in the day of temptation, in the wilderness. So, Apostle Paul was reminding the Jews because the book of Hebrews was written by Apostle Paul for the Jews. While the, the, the Thessalonians, Galatians, Ephesians, for the Gentiles naman, simple na tipagod yun. So, pinalala niya sa mga Hudyo, verse 9, when your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works for years. So, God was speaking the mouth of Paul. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation. Nasaktan ako sa salin lahing yun. As it was in the days of Noah. Anong ginawa nito? Nalunod lahat ang tao. Oh, those people who did not enter into the ark drowned. See? Mahirap magalit ang Diyos sa mga nato. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation and said they do always err in their heart. Lagi sila nagkakamalit sa kanyang puso. And they have not known my ways. Kailangan alam po yung pamamaraan ng Diyos. Yung uh, mga kilitin ng Diyos. Kung saan mo siya, Amen. Yung worship, sasambahin mo siya, Amen. See? Upang huwag siya magalit. Huwag siya mahini. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Di sila makakapasok sa promised land. The promised land, which is rest. Take heed, brethren. Ito ang paalala sa atin. Mag-ingat kayo mga kapatiran. If there, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Baka may ilan sa inyo na lalayo na sa minsan at mag-iisip na tumalikod, sabi niya rin mo. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened. Baka ilan sa inyo ay makatigas ang puso through the deceitfulness of sin dahil sa pandaraya ng kasalanan. So napakalina mga kapatid, this is an admonition for us. Because hindi pa isi-isi yung buhay ng Christian. We're not on a picnic. But we're on a battlefield. You battle with your thoughts, with your emotions. You battle with people around you. With your pocket. Dahil walang pera. You battle with that. Amen. Lahat may battle. Pero kailangan, huwag tumigas ang puso mo. Magpatuloy kayo sa Panginoon. Continue serving the Lord. Amen. Never set back. Sabi ng Panginoon, my soul will not will not uh, be happy with people that will turn back with the soul that uh, will deny me. Amen. So, balikan natin. What happened? God, Amen. Israel rather told the people to choose well from out of his tribe, the best man to go and spy out the land. Amen. So, bawat tribo, Ephraim, Manasseh, Reuben, God, Zila, ng tribo, isa, 
pipili tayo ng isang magaling na uh, kawal. Sabi rito, kababasa natin dito. Behold the Lord thy God, Deuteronomy 1.21, had set the line before thee. Ayun ang lupa, sabi ng Panginoon. Go up and possess it. That's the plan. Yes. Go up, possess it. That's yours. Ang problema, may mga, na, may mga squatter. Nandun yung mga lahi ni Goliath. May mga higante. Nandun ang Jericho, Jebusite, Hittites, Amorites. Nandun lahat. Right. 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 So kailangan palayasin nila yun. Right. Jericho, bumagsak. Wala nang dinamita na ginamit. Right. Praise God. Lumingkod lang sila ng seven times. And then, uh, ng trumpet at ng basag ng mga mga, bumagsak ang walls of Jericho. That was the first battle of, of Joshua. Mamaya, titignan natin yung iba pa. Amen. So, as the Lord God of thy fathers had said unto thee, Fear not, neither be this courage. Siya yung laging paalala ng Lord, huwag kayo matakot, huwag kayo panghinaan ng loob. Dahil alam ng Lord na panghinaan ng loob, yung karamihan. Yung text files, di ba? Basakin natin mga mayroon. And you came dear unto me, every one of you, lumapit sila sa Panginoon. And said, we will send men before us, and they shall search us, search out the land, and bring us word again, by what the way, what way we must go up, and into what cities we shall come. So, nagpadala ng spies. Kung ba't sa panahon niyo, mga musad, yan ang pinakamagaling na mga, eh, ano yan, underground police ng Israel, the musad. Ano pang nangyari? Let's continue. 21 21 tayo, right? Behold Ah, 20 20 Okay, 23 Okay, lampasan natin yung 23 So 25 na tayo Bumalik sila This is the going home The returning After How many days? 40 days They spied out the land For 40 days And they returned From searching the land After 40 days And let's listen to their report. Kung tayo yung bayan ng Israel, pakinggan natin yung good news at bad news. Okay, sabi nila, and they went and came to Moses, and to Aaron, and to all the congregation. Minitin na nila. Ito na, magre-report na kami. Out to the wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh, and they brought back a word unto them, and all unto the congregation, and shoot them the fruit of the land. Pinakitaan sila ng mga sariwang ubas. Sino nang nangyari? Mga ibang putak. Sabi nito, And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sent it us, and surely, surely, totoo nga, it flowing with milk and honey. And this is the truth. Ito ang evidensya. Amen. Dala-dala nila yung evidensya, mga kapatid. Amen. Si Pilano, magsalita na walang ebidensya kaya may ebidensya siya Amen o sila lahat yan the twelve agreed that it's it's flowing with milk and honey and they brought fruit nevertheless eto na the bad news na this is the good news but the bad news is here nevertheless the people be strong that dwell in the land malalakas ang mga tao na katira to and the cities are bold nababakuran ng mga sa Egypt, yung pyramid, di ba, puro bricks yun. And very great, and moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Ayan. Hindi ko kilala si Anak, pero sigurado pa niya, parang terror, terrorist yan si Anak. Takot sila dyan. Ano pa nangyari? Okay, let's read some more. Ano ba? They saw the Amalekites in the land of the south. So, the south, Amalekites, the Hittites, and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea. Napapaligiran. Lupa, Kapatagan, Dagat, Gundo, and by the coast of Jordan. So, ano ang nangyari? Thirdly, and Caleb steal the people. Si Caleb, sabi nila, huwag kayong magulumihanan. Sabi niya. He told before Moses the people and said, let us go up Bilis na natin, puntahan na natin. Lusubi na natin and possess it for we are well able to overcome it. Kaya-kaya natin sila. Amen. Yan ang sabi ni Caleb. Amen. Hindi pinanginaan ang loob. Sabi niya, kaya natin yan. Sinabi ni Lord. Atin yan eh. Di ba? But the man that went up with 
and he said, we be not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we. Mas malakas sila, mukhang dinado tayo, mukhang dinado kaya. Sino na mga sinabi nung ibang sang kalalakihan doon? At ano pang sabi sa 32? And they brought up an evil report. Ayan. Hindi good report ang dala ng sampo. They brought an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying the land through which we have gone to search it, this is a land that eateth up the inhabitants of all mga cannibals ko pala. Ang mga katira dyan. Kinakain nila yung kanilang sariling mga tao. Diba? And all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature, malalaki, mga higante. Hindi ka nga ba nang mag-ina ng loob niya? Wala kang Panginoon. Ba? See? Praise God. So ano mangyari? Praise God. And there we saw the giants. Yeah, yung lineage si Goliath. Remember, David. Fall Goliath. The sons of Anak. Higado rin talaga ito si Anak siguro. Which came from all the giants and we were not outside as grasshoppers. Masyado namang binaba ng Israel. Sabi nila, mga tipaklong lang tayo. Sa tingin, sa, sa tingin nila, pipitikin lang yung tipaklo. See? And we were in there, so we were in there, sir. Pinanghinaan ng loob, mga kapatid. Pero sa kanilang Diyos, pinangako, God promised it to me. But they saw their weaknesses. They look at their weaknesses. See their limitation. See, pag sinabi ng Diyos, just go, God will provide. Thank you. 
to search it is an exceeding good land. Yes. Maganda ang lupa inyo, sayang. Yeah. If the Lord delight in us, yun naman pala eh. Kung ang Diyos ay nalulugod sa atin, hindi ba niya tayo papayari ang mangyari yun? Okay. Then He will bring us into this land, dadalhin niya tayo doon sa lupa inyo, and give it to us a land which flow it with milk and honey. Yeah. Yes. 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 
spiritual death. Correct. Amen. Yan ang mangyayari mga kapatid. Kaya, tingnan natin yung eight mistakes of the ten spies that we should not we should not adapt in our lives, mga kapatid. Una, see, the outlook of the ten spies in general was not very bright. The Bible called it an evil report. See, they have doubted the Lord. They said, we are not able. Amen. Doubt caused them to question their ability to take the land and their God who was leading them. Mm. See? Yes. Kaya mayroon yung mga doubt-doubt na yan. Don't doubt the message. Don't doubt the prophet. Don't find loopholes in the Bible. Because that thing, the devil will use that to pull you down. See, look at the message. Sa tao, wala tayong mabuti yeah. makikita. Lahat tayo meron kayo. Yeah. Don't make man as your idol or model. Yeah. Look at Jesus Christ. Yeah. He is your word. He is our model. So don't you ever doubt the love of the Lord. Yeah. And His promises. Amen. Because He said, my word of God in you, you abide in me, you can ask anything and it shall be done unto you. Yeah. Ganun dapat tayo. Amen. What is the opposite of doubt? Faith. They look at their inadequacy. Ano ba yung inadequacy? Yung kanilang kawalan ng kakayahan, yung kahinaan, their limitation. Sabi nila tayo mga de facto, we, were, we look like grasshoppers. Hindi man lang palaka o aso. Mga de facto, talaga yung mga kapatid. And so were their side. Kaya makikita natin, si don't look at your inadequacy. Wala kang pinag-aralan, mahirap ka man, hindi, hindi ba tayo ng Diyos siya para magpalain ka? Amen. God loves every one of us. Don't look at your weaknesses. Huwag kong tingnan yung wala. Tingnan mo yung biyaya ng Diyos. Look at the positive things, the promises of God. See, count your blessings more than your problems. See, don't look at yourself, we're weak, but He is strong. Amen. Yun ang sabi ni Paul, di ba? In, in, in necessities, therefore, I, I take pleasure yes. in necessities, in uh, infirmities, and all these things, mga kapatid. Mga ito, kahinaan nila, I fear, kaya maraming nauhulog sa tao. They fear the giants. Joshua indicates that ten of the spies were afraid. Yeah. In number 14, verse 9, fear naturally follows doubt and self-depreciation. Kaya yeah, pag takot ka na, nanginginig ka na, wala ka na ang kwersa, wala ka na ang magawa. Pati abilidad mo, wala na. Mm. Dahil na-discourage ka lang sa isang bagay. Di ba? Lalo na ngayon, pandemic, parang walang trabaho. Nandi-discourage, di ba? Hindi na magagpanay ng trabaho sa church dahil lang na wala ng trabaho. See, makikita natin mga kapatid, maraming cause and effect yan. Parang domino effect. Ba't huwag niya, huwag niyo hayaan maapektuhan yung paglilingkod niyo sa mga. Huwag kayong matakot. Kasama niyo ang Panginoon. Fear not little flock for it is your father's good will to give you the kingdom. Yeah. Yan ang sabi ng Biblia, mga kapatid. Amen po ba? Amen! Yeah. Yeah. So alisin ang takot at pangamba. Amen. Huwag ka ba ng takot kasama mo ang Panginoon? Amen! Amen! Hanggang ngayon nga, buhay ka pa. Wala ka pang COVID. Yeah. Praise God! Yung ibang tao, may yaman, milyonaryo, pero na COVID, milyon, milyon, milyon. Oh.
So maraming tao sa message is ganyan. Amen. Na dahil sa problema, dahil sa mga na-encounter, maaaring problema, ay nahirapan na mga pag-umusan ang patuloy. So huwag tayong ganun, mga kapatid. Kasi sabi ng prophet, it's not he that starts. It's he that finishes. See, unbelief, they did not truly believe the promises of God. Anong tawag sa kanila, ang mga main believers, or unbelievers, they did not believe. See, they were just there. Saling pusa lang sila. Hindi talaga tanggap nila na makarating sa promise land. See, pag okay, sabay tayo, pag mahirap, katras tayo. See, may mga ganun, di ba? So, pero tunay na Christiano, sulo, mga kapatid. You don't believe the word. He that believeth not shall be condemned. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Mark, Mark 14, 16, 16. Amen. So yan po ang naging problema. But let's look at the positive traits of Joshua and Caleb. Ayan. Ito ang dapat natin kayaayin mga kapatid. These two men were different. They had different dispositions, a different focus of life, a different attitude toward God and His promises. So yan ang meron dapat tayo. Faith. Sabi nila, we are well able to overcome. To possess a land. See? How can they say it? Amen. Hindi nila inisip yung sarili. Nila inisip nila yung pangako. The faith in the word of God. But give the promise. If God said so, that settles it. Amen. No matter if Satan will try to hinder it, to distract you, but God's word will never fail. God's word will never return to us. God's word will fulfill its purpose. Sa kanya, pinadalhan ito. Let there be light and there was light. God had his own faith in his own word. Diba? Sabi niya, virgin shall conceive 800 years bago nangyari. But still, nangyari. See? Kaya kailangan natin ang faith. Number one, that's the foundation of Christianity. Have faith in God. Believe. Because healing comes by faith. Salvation comes by faith. For by grace, through faith, we are saved and not of our own works. Amen. It's a gift of God so that man should not boast sa pinapalo. Pangalawa, they had confidence in God. Confidence in themselves. Na sila yung mga chosen people. Kami ang pinili ng Diyos. Kung kami ang pinatawin niya sa dagat, He opened the Red Sea for us. How much more? How much more, Mr. Jonas? Dali lang tirisin ng Panginoon ng mga yan. See? Concerning the Canaanites, Joseph said, The people have bread to us. Their defense is departed from them and the Lord is with us. When the people in Canaan heard about Jericho, when Jericho went down, fell down, just by them going around. Nangili na lahat ng nakabalita. Natakot na sila sa unang atake pa lang ng Israel. Nangili na lahat ng iba. Nakibalita. See? Kaya takot na sila, mano. Sino pa lang? God was working already. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three, they had courage. Amen. Mayroon sila tapang. Yan ang kailangan natin. It's not the size of the dog the size of the faith in that dog. Hallelujah. Kahit gano'ng maliit yung aso, kaya niya kakulaan yung mga Doberman. Di ba? Nakakita kayo ng aso na ganyan? Yung aso ka na napakaliit. 
sila ko lang takot si nakita ko minsan sa YouTube yung yung uh, tanggap amen inabot habol yung yung aso di ba praise god amen he was not afraid of the giants the wall cities or the strength of the people we don't consider the enemies power because God's power has been given already. Amen. All power in heaven and on earth has been given to you. Amen. Amen. You shall you shall have the key. Sabi ng brat ng Panginoon, I give you the key. Whatever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Amen. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Ganun ang kapangyarihan ng brat. Whatever you speak, speak to this mountain, be moved, it shall be moved. See, speak to your disease, lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Napakaraming kapangyarihan ng binigyan. Cast out devil in my name. See, this sign shall follow them and believe. Kaya dapat mga kapatid, mayroon tayong lakas ng loob. Yes. Amen. Not to my own. No matter what happens, I don't care. If you hate me, if you don't like me, Amen. I have no response. I have no, I don't have to answer to you. I answer to God. Amen, mga kapatid. Kaya nang sabi ng prophet dito sa mensahe niya, hear you him. Sabi niya rito, God don't want cowards. Yeah. Ayaw niya ng mga duwa. Amen. God wants men that's brave. Yes. Matapang. Gusto niya. He cannot use a coward that's a run down and afraid to testify. You have testify pala. Minsan. Kailangan ng tapang din. Yes. Preach the gospel to every preacher. He 
cannot believe it is baptized shall be saved. So we must be the church in action. Tayo tatamad tamad kaya naman tayo ay gumawa para sa Panginoon. Sabi nga, redeeming the time when the days are evil. See? Gamitin natin ang binigay ni Lord ng talent. Huwag mo ibaon sa lupa. Nalala nyo? Yung the parable of the talents, one of them just buried it under the ground. God was so angry with that man. He took the talent out from him and gave it to another one. May isang puna nga, binigyan pa. See, kasi nagagamit, nagpapagamit kilo. Kaya thank you sa mga young brothers natin. Si Jen Marpla, mag-preach ngayon mga po sa mga isang. sila, Brother Moses, si Brother Elijah, Brother, mga si Brother Robert na lang ang medyo inantay ko. Amen. Amen. So thank you also for Brother Elijah na ipag-drive nila si Brother John Mark mamaya para hindi mag-drive or taxi. Amen. So anyway, let's continue. By gratitude. Ano ba ang pinaka gusto ng Diyos? Yung marunong ka magpasalamat. Amen. Diba? Mga anak mo, pinag-aaral mo. Daddy, salamat naman nakagraduate ako ng college. Diba? Iginapang ka ng tatay mo kahit jeepney driver lang. Diba? Brother John? Tama. Yan. So, makikita nyo, mga magulang nyo, mahal kayo. Kaya, minsan-minsan, regalohan nyo naman ng chocolate, ice cream, bulaklak. Diba? Hindi lang Mother's Day o Father's Day. Amen. Hindi lang Christmas o Valentine. Amen. Kailangan nga
The bride is one in a million. The message is you see of a bride. Amen. When Israel left Egypt on the road to the promised land, they were approximately 2 million people. 2 million? Yeah. Every one of them was under the same sacrificial land. Amen. When the dead angel came, they did not die in Egypt because they had uh, the blood of the Lamb on their bones and lips. See? Nanita sila doon. Everyone of them listened to Moses the prophet. They were given a prophet. Everyone of them was baptized in the Red Sea. Just like all of us are baptized too. See? Hindi sa pagkakang nabaptize ka lang, kaya nakatawin ka sa promise. Everyone of them dance. They dance in the spirit. Yung kayo sa church, mga may musis ka termi na dito. Diba? At yung milan sa lindi, masama yun, mga kapatid. Yes. Go to Africa and see how people
fight for it. Fight a good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. Yan ang sabi nito. Sabi sa aking uh, confirmation and evidence that Israel crossed the Jordan and went into the promised land and Joshua divided up the lands for them. So si Joshua ay nati-hati niya. See? See, kung hindi tinuloy ni Joshua, wala nila lupain. Praise God. Ano ba? Notice, Joshua, after crossing over the land and taking the land, and he divided the land. Ephraim here, Manasseh here, this one here, God here, Benjamin here. He divided the land. Just like today. Amen. God has given us the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And place you positionally. If you are an evangelist, a pastor, teacher, faithful ministry. And then may mga givers, may mga church help, may mga visionaries, may mga dreamers of dreams. See, may mga nine gifts in the Bible. Nine gifts and nine fruits. Amen. So, ano lang yari? Let's look at the conquest of Joshua. Joshua was directed by the Lord to move the people of Israel across the Rock Jordan River to begin the possession of the land of Canaan through the power of the priesthood, the waters of the Jordan parted. Bumukas din na parang dagat. Yes. Ang river Jordan ng river si Moses na nakapagpas ng dagat. Pati si Joshua na buksan ang river Jordan and they walk on dry ground. Yeah. See, you read that in Joshua 3, 3, 30 to 17. Mababasa nyo. Na bumukas ang ilo at nakalakad sila sa tuyong lupa. Yes. For the crossing over of the children of Israel, this remarkable event which took place during the high water season. Tinawag pa na matas ang tuwing. So, paano kayo natawin? Di ba? Minsan, God allows certain circumstances or situation na mahira dahil gagawa siya ng dahil. Church in its order. 
giving to each one gifts, places, position. See, ang Diyos ko doon ngayon, which we know, none other than the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sabi ng prophet, see? He is the voice of God. So, Joshua today is the Holy Spirit, it is the voice of God. Sa, sa puso mo, speaking through the inner man, the Christ is saying, the Holy Spirit. Now, do you get that back to me? Sabi niya rito. See? Now, we're getting over into the book of Ephesians. Because Ephesians, di ba, types Joshua. The placing. The same way he's positionally placing the church where they belong. Now, Joshua placed them in the natural land. Now, the Holy Spirit is placing the church positionally in the land. In the position that they belong in their inheritance. You mama na mo nilalagay na ng Holy Spirit mo. See, praise God mga kapatid. Kaya ibubuos, I believe, ng Panginoong bago mag rapture, ibubuos niyang pagpapala. Praise God. The Lord Jesus will give you your dowry. Amen. Amen. He will give you all the best. Diba? Yes. Sabi ng Bible, nakasuot ng bride na trahe di boda. Which is the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Yes. Dahil harap tayo sa Kanya. Amen. Hallelujah. So, kaya sabi ito, Amen, sa Ephesians, as our final admonition by Apostle Paul, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of your redemption. Sinayuhan ka na ng Espiritu Santo. You are now in your promised position. See? So huwag mo pigyatiin sa ta ng Espiritu Santo. Kaya anong gagawin natin? Let all bitterness, lahat ng pahit, kapahitan, and wrath. Alisin na natin yan kasi nakakagrip yan sa Holy Spirit. And be what? Kind to one another. Yes. Maging mabuti kayo sa isa't isa. Tender hearted. Amen. Forgiving one another. Amen. Even as God for Christ's sake had forgiven you. Amen. Amen. Forget the past. Run. Face the future. Kasi I believe na if we dwell on the past, sabi nga, madidiscover tayo. We'll get a wreck if you just look at the rear mirror all the time. Diba? Yung direct na nang sasakyan. Puro sa likuran ng ikitan. Paano na yung sa harapan mo? Diba? Mababang gaga. Kaya, para tayo ay mapagpatuloy. Amen. The Joshua ministry in the form of the Holy Spirit using the fivefold ministry is at work today. Amen. And the bride is part kung saan hinati-hati ang lupain. Amen. Yung mga inheritance ninyo, yung mga malayan ninyo, binibigay na ni Lord na yun. So God bless you, and may the coming of the Lord rejoice your hearts. Tumayin na yung Amen. We are in the Joshua ministry today. Hallelujah. So, as we call on the musicians, Amen. If you need something from the Lord, I believe, Amen. God has given you the inheritance. Use it. Just like Caleb said, Give me my mountain, Joshua. Amen. Amen. Caleb claimed his mountain. Because sabi niya, kung wala akong mana, Joshua, lahat na pagbigyan mo na. You've given all the lands to our brothers. But where is my mountain? Joshua. Amen. So I believe na tayo ay mayroong pagpapala mula sa Diyos. Amen. Let's just sing a song. Amen. Awitin natin yung Awitin na nagsasabing uh, uh, the original line. Amen. Praise God. T.O.G. please. Amen. The, the original line.
Isa sa isang million din ang bride. Amen. In the church, there are three kinds of believers. True believers, made believers, and unbelievers. Itong dalawang ito, mawawala. Tatanggalin. Pero yung true believers, mananatili. Hallelujah. Are you a true believer this morning? Amen. Are you a Joshua or a Caleb this morning? Be the one, mga kapatid. Hold on to your promise, to the promise of God. Make your calling and election sure. For if you do this thing, you shall never fall. Sabi mo? Ah, kapatid ng Petro. So, manalangin tayo. I will be praying for you if you have a need this morning. Amen. I believe God is all sufficient. God is our Jehovah Jireh. He can provide all your need according to His riches and glory. So, let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. We know that going to church is not enough, Lord. It's a revelation that counts, Lord God. Because we know that upon this rock of revelation, you will build your church. And the gates of hell will never prevail. Lord, the letter kill it. Just reading the Bible, the message, it can kill people. But it's the spirit that will keep life to it, Lord. We need the just walk today to guide us, to lead us, Lord, until we reach the promised land of the rapture, Lord Jesus. Help us this morning, Father, as we go through trials, through lockdowns and pandemics, Lord. You know your children. You promise to never leave them or forsake them. You promise a Goshen for them to stay, Lord. While the blacks, the pestilences are falling, but your children are sick in that land where there's no blacks, no death, no sorrow. Lord, I pray, Father, bless my brothers and sisters. Lord, the kapuin mo bawat isa ay sa akin ang pangamailan ng Panginoon. You're a good God, an awesome God, Lord. You love to, to make sure prizes, Father. We know that when we are, kung kami nasusukul na Panginoon, we are at, at the end of our ropes. Lord, we know that you are there to catch us. Lord God, nangako ka, Panginoon, na di mo kami iwanan. You said, come unto me. Father, for you allow this thing. 